Hello everyone, and welcome to my review of Alamala. Alamala, Alamala, Alamala. I just like saying it, Alamala. Now I probably am butchering this name, but I just like the way I say it, Alamala, Alamala. Haven't heard of this movie? Well, I only heard about this film two months ago, and it is a Spanish-speaking romantic comedy from the director, I found out this afterwards, I actually saw this film, from the director of a movie called Pulling Strings, which came out a few years ago, which I actually saw, but I didn't know that before watching it. So what is Malalala, Malalala, Alamala about? Well, it's about a young actress. She's trying to get noticed in the business. She does commercials. And she has this opportunity to be a part of this novella or TV series of some kind in Mexico. But she's beautiful. She's got incredible eyes. That's one thing I noticed. I mean, the actress playing this woman has got beautiful eyes. I mean, I just so transfixed to her face. She's struggling for money. Let's just put it that way. And she has an opportunity. Her One of her friends or roommates will pay her to approach this guy that is kiting dating her friend and find out if this guy will cheat on her. Did I make that? Did that make any sense? I don't know. She's kind of getting paid to find out if guys are cheaters. There you go. And in the process, she meets a very successful man, a businessman, I think he sells tequila, that she kind of had a, a situation with in the past, dealing with when she was kind of being it wanted to be in this commercial selling the tequila and so there's this back and forth of will they or won't they you know fall in love because this is a romantic comedy and that's it so hopefully that explained it for anybody who is interested in seeing this film if it didn't i apologize i i, I don't know it, it's a simple story there's nothing much to this whole idea you know, what really got my attention, of course, is how beautiful this cast looks, especially the female lead. I don't know what her name is. She, I bet she is super famous in Mexico, and God bless her for it because she has just got an incredible, everything's incredible about her. Uh, she's a good actress, too. She was good. You know, uh, uh, the movie's fast-paced. There's a lot of talking going, a lot of dialogue. You know, there's subtitles, thankfully, so I could understand what they were saying. And what I, uh, what I thought was pretty clever and kind of interesting and funny at the same time is that every time they spoke English, we got Spanish subtitles. Even when they said okay, then the Spanish word came up for okay. So that was kind of cool. You know, this is like, you're just in this, the whole, the biggest plot point of this film is that will these two people come together and will they be a couple? You know, because he's, you know, they're dating each other because she wants to find out if. Uh, he, he is actually a cheater. He's going to cheat on her, on his girl, whatever. I mean, who cares? Uh, you know, it's a fun movie. It wasn't anything special or profound or interesting enough to give a high recommendation for. Not even, I don't know if I'm going to recommend it. I would only say, uh, if you want to see a very beautiful Spanish cast come together uh, that I didn't recognize at all, except for one person. Uh, he has a cameo. I believe he's one of the most famous actors working in Mexico and he also had a movie that came out a few years ago called Instructions on Included. He's probably the only person I recognize in the whole film and I wish there was more of him. I like him. I really like him. I I'm wondering why we haven't got more movies from Mexico with him in it. Instructions on Included was so famous a few years ago and is a big hit especially here in America. I'm surprised we haven't seen the next movie of that but maybe it's coming this year. Um, Anyways, nothing really exciting to talk about. The story is pretty typical. You know, nothing special. Uh, it's just a, like, oh my gosh, will they get together? Will they not? It's so predictable. It's probably, you probably know from the, the moment this movie starts where it's actually going to go. Uh, at times it felt like a sitcom. At other times it felt like a Hallmark movie. And I don't know if this movie, a movie like this really needs to get a wide release. I think a movie like this probably should just farewell on video or on television or even on TV for free. Wouldn't that be nice? Just show it on television for the masses and and that'll probably get more people to watch it than actually put it in theaters. I would like to see this actress in more movies, maybe even some American movies because she's so beautiful. Wow, those eyes. I'm thinking about those eyes. 
right now, uh, amongst other things. Uh, you know what I was also thinking about when I was watching this movie, because it's about a young girl that kind of falls in love with a rich man, and I was thinking about Fifty Shades of Grey as I was watching it too, and I thought, this is a PG-13 film that is more sexy and interesting than that movie ever was. And that movie was all about sex, where this one has a story, uh, Al Al Mala has a story, but there is some great PG-13 sex in this film that was very sexy. Can't stop thinking about that. Ouch. Anyways, in the comment box below, have you seen Alamala? Alama I just love saying that. I'm I probably saying it wrong, but it's Alamala. Just love saying that. Let me know in the comment box below if you heard about this movie. Have you seen it? Are you interested in seeing it? I, I, I'd really like to know. Did you enjoy it? Did you not? For me, I thought it was a little better than okay, but nothing to like go, hey guys, you gotta see this. No, I'm not gonna do that at all. So I'm gonna give Alamala. I'm going to give the film two and a half stars out of four. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I am Movie Man Chad. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePile.com. And if you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. And I wish you a happy day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful life. And I'll talk to you at my next movie review. Bye, everyone. Peace be with you.